if I scared you. I like to sleep with my eyes open, because if I close my eyes, I'm afraid that someone will come in and steal all my money. Hi, my name is Mr. Goodman, and welcome to a day in the life of me. I wake up every morning at 6 a.m., not because I want to, but because the sun is beaming through that window! Chives, close the curtain! Very well, sir. Chives, I made a stinky. I'm gonna need you to change me. Very well, sir. See, I don't get up to go to the bathroom, because that's for poor people. I just lay here and defecate in my pants. That is one poopy butthole, sir. Well, then pressure wash my ass, Chives! How about a bath? Sounds fantastic. Fantastic. You know how I like it, Chives. Very well, sir. Come with me to the bathroom. Your bath is ready, sir. Thank you, Chives. Every day I start my morning off in a bath of $15 million, all $100 bills. And I even take the bath with my suit on so it saves on laundry. All right, sir, let's wash that tush. You get down there, Chives, and don't forget your snorkel. Very well, sir. Oh, and Chives, can you turn on Tom and Jerry? Sir, it's 6 a.m. Tom and Jerry isn't on. Are you serious, Chives? There isn't a Tom and Jerry streaming service by now? No, sir. My bath has been ruined. Go ahead and pull the drain plug. Very well, sir. And Chives, go ahead and make my breakfast. Very well, sir. Your breakfast is ready, sir. Loaded mashed potatoes and a filet cooked medium. Thank you, Chives. Uh, Chives? Is there an issue, sir? Where are my peppercorns? We were out of peppercorn. Spanking! Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. Every morning, I start my breakfast with a filet mignon, cooked medium, and loaded mashed potatoes. Are you ready for your wine, sir? What type of question is that, Chives? Pour it! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Uh, Chives? Is there a problem, sir? There is a speck of dirt on my wine glass. I can assure you I just washed the glass. Well, there's dirt on it. Was that absolutely necessary? Yes, Chives, because there was dirt on the glass. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. But sir, there are plenty of clean glasses here. I don't believe you, because that one had dirt on it. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. Very well, sir. Now where is my maid? Quinceanera? Uh, Mr. Goodman, my name is Patricia. Whatever, Paprika. I spilled my drink and I need you to clean it up. See, si, Mr. Goodman, I'll get right on it. Are you wearing underwear? No, Mr. Goodman, you told me not to. Good. This is my maid, Aunt Chilada, and I've gotten her pregnant seven times because we don't believe in Plan B, only Plan C, because the C stands for cash. We have the kids, I claim them on my taxes, and then we ship them off to Cancun or some shit. Uh, Mr. Goodman, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera because I'm making a documentary of my life. Now bend over and clean up that mess. See. Si. I'm planning on having an eighth child. I wanted a nice view with my meal. Speaking of kids, where's my son Richard? Richard, get in here and eat your breakfast! What do you want, Dad? I was playing Fortnite. I was paying everyone to lose so I could win. Ugh, filet mignon again? I wanted lobster! If you want a lobster, you get your ass out there in that water and you catch one yourself. I hate you, Dad. I hate you too, son. Uh, Dad, I see the maid's tush. Why are you looking? You go eat somewhere else. Okay, Dad, I'll eat in my room. Ungrateful piece of shit. Sir, I've returned with your new wine glasses. I'm not thirsty anymore, Chives. I would like to play golf. Fetch me my clubs. Very well, sir. All right, sir, I have your balls and your club. Chives, ew, there is a worm on my putting green. A worm, Chives. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll remove him at once. No, Chives, I want you to eat him. Uh, must I absolutely, positively have to, sir? Yes, Chives. I want you to eat him like a bird. Like the white ibis I have a painting of in my kitchen. Very well, sir. How's it taste, Chives? It's chewy, sir. Yeah, I bet. Now watch me get this hole in one. Bitch! Look, you made it, sir! Yeah, thought so. You're so good at golf, sir. Are you being a smart ass, Chives? No, absolutely not, sir. You know what, Chives? Now go get it! In the water? No, in outer space! Yes, in the water, because that's where it went! But, sir, there are sharks in the water. I don't give a rat's fuck! You get your old geriatric wrinkly ass in that water and you get my ball. That was my favorite ball. Well, maybe you shouldn't have hit it in the water. Spanking! Yes, sir. Now you get your ass in that water and you get my ball. Very well, sir. 
Sir, I am cracking your golf ball. Now spit it in the hole, Chives. Very well, sir. Hole in one. Now, boat time. But boat time, sir? Ah! Chives! Call the police! My boat has been stolen! Sir, you sent your boat out to be painted yesterday. Well, then go to the neighbor's house and tell him I want to buy their boat. But, sir, your boat would be back in four hours. Spanking! <sighs> Why am I being punished, sir? Because during my bath this morning, you didn't remind me that I didn't have boat time today. Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'm gonna go sunbathe by the pool. Very well, sir. Shall I undress you for your swim, sir? Ew! Charles, what is that at the bottom of my pool? It appears to be a leaf, sir. Probably from the tree directly above your pool. Well, I want you to jump in there and get it out. But that's the pool boy's job, sir. Well, now it's your job! So shall I call the pool boy then and let him know he's fired, since I'm assuming his responsibilities? No, I want him to show up and I want him to see you doing his job. That's how he'll know he's fired. Very well, sir. That leaf has ruined my swim time. I want you to drain the pool and clean it. I'm gonna go take a drive in my Lamborghini. Very well, sir. This is my Lamborghini. I buy a new one every week when the odometer hits 100 miles because then it's just too used for me. Oh, chives! What do you need, sir? Call up the airport and have my private jet ready. And where are we going this time, sir? I will be flying around for a few hours so I can think. Are you sure you don't want me going with you in case you need some help, sir? No, but what I do want you to do is, is fetch me Chimichanga or whatever the hell her name is. I believe you mean Patricia the maid. Don't correct me, Chives! Spank him! Very well, sir. Chives, you go to your room and you stay there! Yes, sir! Chives lives in a little room under my stairs, like Harry Potter. I had to put him back in his room because he's been snappy today. Mr. Goodman, why you need my help? The car already clean. I don't need you to clean the car, Quesadilla. I need you to clean something else. Oh. This is my private jet. It's fast as fuck. Let me give you a tour of my jet. It's the most expensive jet in the world. All of the seats are made out of elephant asshole skin. This is where Chives flies the plane his old ass. Wherever I touch on the screen, my private jet will take me. Snacks out the dick. The bottles of water come straight from Fiji. So I'm gonna go fly around for a few hours. I'll see you guys when I get back. Chives, I'm back from my flight. Oh no, he's home! No, no! Oh, Chives, you can come out of your closet now! Oh, yes, sir! Alright, now let's walk around and do a house inspection to make sure you stayed in your closet the whole time. No, we don't have to do that, sir. Oh, we absolutely have to do it. Come on, come on! Yes, sir. Chives, did you touch my pool balls? No, sir, you must have hit them before you went on your private jet. No, I would have remembered that. When I left, they were perfectly wrapped right here. Oh, how strange. Shall we move on? No, you bend your old ass over this Brunswick label. Very well, sir. Oh! Oh, more than one, sir! Yes. How old are you again, you old fuck? 67, sir. 67 spankings it is. Oh! Now you stay in your room. Oh, yes, sir. Old. Oh! Crusty. Oh! Man. Oh! Ass cheeks. Oh! All right. Let's check my bank account to see if there's still four commas in there like there should be. Ah, yes. One trillion dollars, just like it should be. Oh, Chives! Yes, sir? Has Marvin paid his house payment this month? I don't believe so, sir. Ah, let's pay him a visit, shall we? Now I'm at Marvin's house to get his house payment. He never has his house payment. Come on, let me show you. Hello? Oh, good man, what are you doing here? I came to get your house payment. What? Why is there a camera crew here? Because I'm filming a documentary about my life. Now, do you have your house payment or not? Uh, I, I, I don't have it this month. All right, well, you're coming with me. Uh, come what? on, come I... on. All right, Marvin, since you didn't pay your house payment, you're gonna live under my stairs for a few days. No, please don't make me do that. Get in there! What? No, I don't want, it smells so bad in there. Because that's Chad's little room, and he has a little pot in there that he has to pee and poop in. And then every day, he's supposed to clean it out. <laughs> And by the smell of it, he hasn't cleaned it out today. So get in there! Please don't make me go in there. Get in there! Okay! Now you sit in there and you think about what you did. 
Chives! <sighs> you called for me, sir? I did, Chives. Tonight, you will have a roommate. But, but, sir, there's not enough room! You will make his life hell like you make my life hell. But I help you, sir. Do you, Chives? Because I don't see a mimosa in my hand, and it's mimosa time! And you should know that without me having to remind you! Here is your mimosa, sir. Is the glass clean, Chives? Of course, sir. I checked it twice. Dare I look? Go right on. Hmm. Chives, there is a fingerprint on my glass. A fingerprint, Chives! Well, I can assure you it's not mine, sir. I'm wearing gloves. Did you finger fuck my mimosa, Chives? No, sir. Maybe it's your fingerprint. Hmm. Maybe it is. I'm sorry, Chives. Don't worry about it, sir. I'm tired, Chives, and I no longer want this mimosa, so I want you to stick it up your ass and come tuck me into bed. Stick it where, sir? Ass! Up it! Very well, sir. <sighs> After a long, stressful day, I like to have Chives come tuck me into bed. Chives, come tuck me into bed! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Is there anything you need before going to sleep? Maybe a bedtime story? Oh, yes, yes! A bedtime story, Chives! And make it scary! All right, sir. Once upon a time, you were poor. Ah! Too scary, Chives! Show me money! Show me that I have money! Uh, look, a hundred dollars, oh, oh, sir. Oh, good. Oh, that was so scary, Chives! Never tell me a scary story like that ever again! Understood, sir. Is there anything else you need before bed? Maybe a lady for the night? Oh, yes, Chives. A lady friend for the night, because I'm lonely. And what is the budget, sir? Thirty thousand dollars. Ah, going cheap tonight, I see. No, Chives. Actually, this is what I want. I want you to find a girl, have her shave her head, and wear a monocle like the Monopoly guy. Then I want you to take her to the hospital and have her legs amputated because I want to know what that's like. Ah, oh, sparing no expense, I see. Yeah, uh, so go, go fetch. Well, how about I just bring you the lady from last night, sir? <sighs> Fine, I guess that'll do. Understood, sir. Hi. That was fast. She never left. Uh, well, well, she smells too nice. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go outside and run three miles, but I want you to do it bare fit because I like the little black asphalt feet. Okay. Lock the door, Chives. But, but, sir, how will she get back in? She won't! I don't want dirty asphalt feet all over my 100% goose down sheets. Ew! But you're the one that told her to go run, sir. I know, Chives, but you know what? Cancel it. Lock the door, but I want you to cuddle. Come here. H how about I just go get the lady, sir? Big spoon me, little spoon you, Chives. I want to smell that dirty old man bald head of yours. <sighs> Understood, sir. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a day in the life of me. And that's just my off day. And make sure you tune in for when you see me go to work. Hey, Mommy and Daddy, let's play a quick game of Jeffy Says. Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin, it'll be fun. He's gonna make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me a hundred bucks. What? Jeffy says raise your left hand. Jeffy says put it down. Jeffy says go ooh 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 ooh. Jeffy says go ooh 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 ooh. Jeffy says say pee pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says give me fifty bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me a hundred? Here's your fifty. Jeffy says pee pee. Jeffy says jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. Ugh, I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, ah, you lose! You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him a hundred bucks. Well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say, Jeffy says stop doing that. And you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me a hundred bucks. Here's your hundred dollars, Jeffy. Leave. He just made two hundred dollars. He just conned us out of two hundred dollars. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150... <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What, for what? I need you to come over to my house. Don't ask questions, Marvin. I'll send you the address. Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably going to yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, oh, very good. He's in the living room, please. Go take a seat. Okay. 
This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, have you seen Goodman? Anymore. What, Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman, I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You wanna squeeze them? No, 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 I, I don't wanna squeeze them. Oh, em. come on, Marvin, I can tell you wanna squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here judging my wife, boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were good. I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, 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 she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. What? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just- Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was, squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought it was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, I didn't cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. Well, what if you thought the, 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 girl, uh, the man was a girl? You're sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? Well, well, Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me? What do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to you want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now if you want to save this marriage. You need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm gonna go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. <sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want to. Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? <laughs> she, she hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the god damn it? <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now, why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her ditties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans. And he stuck his face between them and shook his head violently and went like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now, wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call I didn't do anything! Oh. Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you were going to give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one, over there, go. Uh, okay, fine, I'll give him a massage, that'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. 
Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good, like he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice. Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. What is that? <laughs> I pulled a Deshaun Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boobs, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. It, if you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, you're gonna check? What? No! Listen, baby, you know that's broken guy dressed like a woman. I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen. I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen. If I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, I didn't miss them. You miss how they fell on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. I, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman! It's not what it looks like! He came on to me! No, I heard the whole thing! And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup! <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! Hey, Daddy. Wanna hear some funny jokes? Sure, Jeffy. What did the farmer say when he couldn't find his tractor? What? Where's my tractor? O okay. What's a vampire's favorite dessert? Uh, blood? I, I don't know. Nothing. Vampires aren't real. What? What's red and bad for your teeth? Red candy? A brick. What? What did a basketball and a football have in common? They're both balls. One of them is orange. What? What's yellow and is something you shouldn't drink? A pee? A school bus. You can't drink a school bus, Jeffy. I got one more, Daddy. What do you get when you mix a goat and a sheep? I, I don't know. A geep. <sighs> Who's that? Jeffy, stay right here. Uh, hello? Hey, Mario. Uh, hey, Goodman. Uh, you must be here for my house payment. I wouldn't be here for any other reason. Yeah, well, funny story. I don't really have the money to pay my house payment this month. I know. You know? Well, then what are you doing here if you know I can't pay it? Because I wanted to show you the new magic trick I learned. You want to see it? 
Sure. I can pull something out of my butt. Watch. What is that? Looks like an eviction notice, and it says get out. What, an eviction notice? You're gonna evict me? Yeah, Mario, because I'm done. I'm done with you and your hat. Every single month, I have to waste gas and put miles on my Lamborghini just to come here for you not to have your house paid. Well, look, 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 it's just a lot of money to pay, and I don't have the money to pay that bill, you know? Oh, well, it looks like you have money to pay your electric bill, so how do you not have money to pay your house payment? It's just so much. You know, look, 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 don't evict me. Just come inside and we can work this out. Mario, there's nothing to work out. You're evicted. Wait, no, 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 come on inside. Look, come inside. I promise I we'll, we'll work something out. Come on, come inside, please. Come on, just come inside. Okay, come in. Look, just sit down, relax. Make yourself comfortable. Take your shoes off. Let me rub your feet. No, Mario. You get your hands off my innocent and defenseless baby seal shoes. What, baby seal shoes? Yeah, the cruelty makes them softer. Well, look, look, just please don't evict me. Well, Mario, the only way I'm not going to evict you is if you have your house payment right now in cash. So do you have it? Well, of course I don't. Read it and weep. Well, just give me another chance. Ew, Mario, stop. You sound like my ex-wife after I cheated on her. She was like, oh, please, give me another chance. I promise I'll be hotter. And I was like, ew, no. There's other women out there, and I don't want you. Well, why are you evicting me now? You've never evicted me before. It's your hat, Mario. What? Every time I come to your house, I stand outside your door, and I'm like, he's going to answer the door in that hat. And sure enough, you come to the door, and what do I see? Hat. Oh, okay, so if I get rid of the hat, you want to evict me? Oh, I'm still going to evict you, Mario. Well, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of my hat. All right, well, you got nine days to get all your stuff and get out of this house. What, nine days? Why nine? Because it was off the dome, Mario. But if you're going to complain about it, then get all your stuff and get out in seven days. Seven? No, no go back to nine. All right, what about five? What, no, go back Four. to... Four. What? Two. You can't do that. Get out. What? Get all your stuff right now and get out. You have to give me some time. <sighs> all right, six days. Get all your stuff out, six days, my house. Oh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll get out in six days. So, Cody, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know, Junior. You want to watch TV? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll go get the remote. Uh, huh? Uh, wait, Junior, whose wallet is this? If there's money in it, it's mine. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look. Uh, wait, hold on. J Junior, there's a, there's a credit card in here. Well, a credit card? Yeah. Who's it belong to? Uh, it says Mr. Goodman. Well, uh, Cody, it says Billionaire's Club on it. Do you think it belongs to a billionaire? Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Oh, we should buy stuff with it. Uh, Junior, we can't do that. That's illegal. It, it's called credit card fraud. Well, okay, well, how would they figure out that we used it? Well, they probably just used the security cameras in the stores we bought stuff from. Well, well why don't we just buy stuff online, then? I don't know, Junior. The right thing to do would be to turn it into the police so they could return it to the original owner. Well, that's lame, Cody. Look, we have a credit card that probably has a billion dollars on it, and we could buy whatever we want, and, and nobody would ever find out. Well, Junior, the billionaire would find out. No, Cody, look, he has a billion dollars. So if we buy stuff for, like, a couple thousand, he'll never notice a couple thousand dollars if he has a billion dollars. Uh, I guess, but if we buy stuff, we have to buy really small stuff. Yeah, Cody, look, we'll buy really small stuff that he won't even notice. Okay, really small stuff. You bought a monster truck, Junior? Yeah, isn't it sick? Yes, Junior, it's very sick. But you said you were gonna buy something small. This is the opposite of small. Come on, Cody, it was like $500. The billionaire's not gonna notice $500. Now shut up and say Grave Digger so I can crush this Barbie in her Corvette. <sighs> Grave Digger. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Cody, look, our car's destroyed! Yeah, that's why you don't mess with the grave digger. All right, Cody, now you gotta buy something. Uh, I don't know, Junior, I just really don't want to get in trouble. But get in trouble? Cody, I bought a monster truck. Come on, live a little. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay, okay, I'm gonna buy something. All right, what are you gonna buy? Uh, I have an idea. Check out my pony carriage, Junior. Whoa, this is sick. <laughs> yeah, it is. I got 24-inch rims in the back, 18-inch rims in the front, one horsepower, and check this out, Junior. I got a frunk. That's a front trunk. I can hide all kinds of cookies and stuff in there. You got a frunk on your monster truck, Junior? What? No, th that's where the engine is. <laughs> okay, whatever. So, Junior, you want to go on a nice stroll through a park somewhere? Um, yeah, but real, real quick, I definitely think we should return this credit card, you know, before we get caught. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. If we spend any more money, they might catch us. Yeah, so let's go put it back in the wallet. Okay. All right, Junior, let's put this credit card back in the wallet before we get caught. We're not going to get caught, Cody. We only bought two things. Yeah, I don't feel that bad. Hey, guys! Want to hear some jokes? Sure. Yeah, okay. What do you call a dog with no legs? What? It doesn't matter what you call him. He's not coming. <laughs> What's green and has wheels? What? Grass. I lied about the wheels. <laughs> Alright. 
One has four fingers and a thumb and looks like a hand. What? A hand. <laughs> All right, I get it. Ask me if I'm a tree, Junior. Are you a tree? No. <laughs> He's not. That's all I got. Well, Jeffy, we found this credit card that belongs to a billionaire, and, and you should buy something with it. Okay. But no, Junior, we've spent too much money already. We didn't spend too much money. We only bought two things. It was like less than $1,000. Let Jeffy buy something. <sighs> okay, but just tell him not to spend too much money. All right, Jeffy, here. Buy whatever you want. All right, I'm going to go spend $10,000 on V-Bucks. Well, Junior, he's going to get us caught. Well, that, that's not that much money to a billionaire. $10,000 on V-Bucks? Hey, hey, Jeffy, buy me some V-Bucks, too. All right, Jeffy, $10,000 worth of V-Bucks for you and $10,000 worth of V-Bucks for me. Oh, yeah, Junior, this is so PP. Yes, it's very PP. Can we stop committing credit card fraud now? I guess, Cody, let's go. All right, Junior, we're putting this card back now that you and Jeffy both spent $10,000 each on V-Bucks. Well, Cody, you should have got you some V-Bucks. No, Junior, I don't play Fortnite. I play Minecraft like an adult. Oh, well, Cody, if you put an L right there, that'd be you. What? If you put an L right there before the G, it'd be you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it would. All right, now let's get out of here before we get caught. All right. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to play me some Call of Duty. Man, I gotta turn on the game. Ooh, here go a wallet. And I ain't even have to mug nobody? Man, ships, it must be my birthdays. Ooh, and here go a Christmas card. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you some chicken with that. Because obviously, whoever left it here was thinking about me and was like, uh, Black Yoshi should go treat himself to some chicken. <laughs> Trick or treat, smell my feet, let's go give me some KFC to eat. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's some good chicken, B. Mm. Man, what's wrong with you, Mario? I'm sad. Man, why you sad? You white. Because, Black Yoshi, we're about to lose the house. Why are we going to lose the house, folks? Because I haven't made a house payment because I can't afford it. Man, don't worry about that, folks. Just use my new GBT card I got from the gum mills. What, GBT card? Yeah, it's kind of like the EBT card, except they changed the name of it. So now it's like that thing that they give you if you go back to high school after you done dropped out. What, a GED? Yeah, that. What, Black Yoshi, this says Goodman Bacon Trust. How did you get a credit card? I found it. What, you found it? What'd you find? that right here right where the two fairy done left it he said i was a good boy i just need to floss a little bit more what? and so he gave me this credit card black yoshi this is mr goodman's credit card how did you get mr goodman's credit card oh, oh my god black yoshi where'd you find this wallet at i told you the two fairy done left it to me right here he said i need some treats uh, there's no two fairy black yoshi uh, the good mr goodman left this wallet here. oh my god i know what happened Mr. Goodman left this wallet here, and you found it. Black Yoshi, what did you buy with this credit card? Man, all I bought with his fried chicken, some Kool-Aid, <laughs> and I'm about to peep game on this map pack. No, you ain't about to peep game on no map pack, Black Yoshi. You cannot use someone else's credit card to buy something. That's credit card fraud. Man, who's the credit card fraud? Do he go rib it? <laughs> Black Yoshi, it's credit card fraud. Fraud! Man, I don't know why you be talking about those frogs like that, folks. Black Yoshi, you cannot use someone else's credit card. That's illegal. It's against the law. You can go to jail. Mario, I ain't gonna go to jail because the courts ain't gonna allow it. Well, Black Yoshi, okay. Okay, so wait, when you go to court and they say, who gave you this credit card? And you say the Tooth Fairy. That's not gonna hold up on court. It doesn't have to hold up in court. What they gonna do, bring in the Tooth Fairy? Because I can guarantee you, he ain't gonna be there. Yeah, and, how, and why is he not gonna be there? Because he ain't real. Yeah, okay, then if he ain't real, then how'd he give you the credit card? Well, he was real for that five seconds when he came in here and left it. Black and Yoshi disappeared. Black Yoshi, I don't have time for games like this. I have to find a way to get my house payment so we don't lose the house. Mario, like I already said, just take the GBT card and go pay the house payment, folks. I cannot pay the house payment with the credit card of the person that I owe money to. Yes, you can, folks. Get that cash of amps. <sighs> you you know, never know. It ain't neither. It would be better to mm -hmm. just pay the house payment, I guess. Yeah, see, see, check that. <laughs> let, me, let me peep on this mat pack. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Black Yoshi. I took out a cash advance and got the money out to pay my house payment. Mario, I found this infection notice. And it said we got to get out before we get sick. Black Yoshi doesn't say infection notice. It says eviction notice. Man, what's an eviction? Is that a type of book? What, no, no, Black Yoshi. Ev eviction means we have to get out, basically. Like, we have to move out. Yeah, we have to get out because the infection. We're going to get sick. Black Yoshi, there is no infection. Look, look, look. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you get out. Just how about you just get out? But Mario, man, let me just grab that GBT card real quick and I'll be on my way. Well, no, 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 Black Yoshi, no. I have to give it back to who it belongs to. It belongs to me because the Tooth Fairy done gave it to me because I need them treats. Well, oh, no, Black Yoshi, I feel the infection all over my body. Oh, my God, it's eating me alive. Oh, oh, oh.
Oh, we gotta get out! Get out, Mario! Hurry, quick! <laughs> <sighs> Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey, hey Mario! Hey, oh. you don't talk until I tell you to talk! Mm, yes, sir! You know what, Mario? Go back inside, come back to the door, and we'll start all over. Since he ruined it! Uh, okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Mario! H hey, wh what are you doing here? Well, an hour ago, when I was at your house, the craziest thing happened. I noticed that I didn't have my wallet. And so I started to check my bank account instead of coming right back here. And I noticed that someone had been using my credit card. Ow, ow. Tell him. Uh, yeah, yeah, someone's been using his credit card and they've spent about $30,000. Ow. $30,000? You didn't tell me how they were spending $30,000. Yes, they did. $30,000 on chicken? What? Hold on. Oh. Are you telling me that old McDonald had a farm and he stole my credit card information and he spent $30,000 on chicken? Well, no, no, no. I didn't say $30,000 on chicken. I said $30,000 missing. That, that's crazy. We're coming in. Hey, you. T t Ow, tell him we're coming in. But why? Because because we got to find my wallet. Tell him, tell him we're coming in. We don't have a warrant. Yes, we do. We're ha we have a warrant because I say we have a warrant. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, stop, stop. Uh, we're coming in, and we have a warrant. Hey, and stop take his hat. It. Stop hitting me. Take his hat. I, I'm what? sorry. I, stop. I, I'm gonna have to take your hat. But why? Well, it's it's. Uh, I don't like it. He, Tell him I don't like his hat, and he, we're gonna take the hat. He he. Ow, stop. Stop. I'm saying it. He 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 doesn't like your hat, and we're gonna. And we're taking it. We're taking it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear your hat, and he's gonna put it on my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, stop. Stop hitting me. Oh, okay. Well, come in real quick. Okay. All right, Mario, where's my wallet? I, I don't know. It, it was right here. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. You, take his hat. What? 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 No. Where's my wallet? I, I don't know. Give me the hat. What? The hat. Okay. Give me the hat. Where's my wallet? I, I don't know. Mario, if you don't tell me where my wallet is, I'm going to eat your hat. Well, don't, don't eat my hat. Oh. No, don't, don't eat it. Where's my wallet? I don't know. Oh. Uh, don't, don't eat my hat. Oh, come on, spit it out. You're oh. chewing on it. Mario, I'm sure I have. Spit it out. Mario, what is that? Uh, oh, uh, oh, um, uh, th th this is uh, my house payment money, so you can't evict me. Mario, where on earth did you get $2,500 in one hour? What corner were you on? You have been selling Flintstones gummies? Huh? How'd you get that kind of money? Uh, I, I, I broke up with my piggy bank. Oh, really? A piggy bank full of 100s. Did you steal one of my piggy banks? N no, no, I stuffed money in my mattress. That's, that's where I got it. Okay, well, I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, no, 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 I paid my house payment so you can't evict me. You said if I pay in cash, you can't evict me, right? Well, that is true, Mario. Since you did pay your house payment in cash, I can't evict you. Oh, great. It's just really weird that there was a $2,500 cash advance on my credit card, and here's $2,500 in cash. And there was also a KFC charge on my credit card. Here's KFC, and then Kool-Aid. How do you explain that? Well, 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 well the KFC's old. This, this food's old. Well, it wasn't here earlier. Well, well, well it's like a couple days old. I, I like to move my trash around. I, I'm, a, I'm a hoarder. Ew. Well, look, I don't really see any evidence here. Just a whole bunch of coincidences. Yeah, yeah. I, Darn. I, yeah. Well, the case has gone cold. Hey, you, bring me your face. Okay. Find who stole my wallet! Okay. Uh, okay, so, um, you know, uh, everything's fine, right? So I'm free to go, right? I guess, Mario. Well, you're not mad about that $30,000 that's missing on your credit card? No, Mario. <laughs> you think I'm going to worry about a small $30,000 charge? <laughs> Mario, do you know what my credit limit is? What? My credit limit is Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond, Mario. My credit score is yes. I'm not mad about $30,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, you can go on your way then. It was nice seeing you, officer, and I'll see you next month, Goodman, with your house payment. All right. Have a good night, Maury. Good night. Uh, okay, okay. Where is his wallet? Who has his credit card? I just need a couple million more V-Bucks. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you are so done. What? I'm about to orange justice all over your face. game where you guess your letter and if you guess the wrong letter I gotta draw a stick man up there until he's hanging I mean I can't call it the real name because we might get in trouble and end up on Good Morning America again no Jeffy I don't want to play any games oh come on Marvin it'll be fun <sighs> fine all right mommy guess a letter hmm is there an H yep yeah I got one right all right Daniel your turn is there a C yep Ooh, good guess all right mommy hmm is there an I yep <sighs> 
Are they? Is there a T? Yep. Oh, no. All right, Jeffy, that's it. You're grounded. Why? Because you put a bad word up there. I didn't put a bad word up there. I just put what you call mean lady. Jeffy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it, Jeffy. That's exactly what I thought it was. You're grounded. Do you give up? Yes, I give up because it's a bad word. All right, the word is witch. <gasps> oh, thank God. No, no, Jeffy. You know what you meant. You meant to put the B word. What? Boobies? Wait. Jeffy. No, 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 no. You know the B word that, 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 that's spelled the same way with, with the B? Boobies. No, you know, big boobies. No, um, baby, finish the word for me. Big. No. G boobies. No, Jeffy, you, you know, it, it, it sounds like beach. B boobies. You know, you're grounded. Take your little stupid board to your room. You're grounded. <sighs> Hold on, Daddy. Before I go, can I tell him something? Tell who something? The people watching the video. What? What? Hold on, let me talk to you real quick. Hey guys, it's me, Jeffy. I just wanted to say that I've noticed a lot of people who are watching our videos are not subscribed to the channel. So why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there. I'll wait. Jeffy, who are you talking to? I'm talking to them, dang, the fans who haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And uh, while you're down there, go ahead and uh, smash the like button while you're at it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, don't go in there and start putting comments saying, Oh, I'm not going to hit the like button. I'm not going to hit the subscribe button. All right, no Jeffy. No one cares. Jeffy, go to your room. <sighs> All right. Hold on, i got to get my board. <sighs> what? Who's at the door? I don't know. Oh, <sighs> uh, hello. What? Goodman, what are you doing here? Guess what I did. What? Come on, I want to show you. Look, isn't it gorgeous? You bought a Ferrari? Not the Ferrari, dummy. <laughs> what's in the Ferrari? Well, what's in the Ferrari? Ew, what is that thing? It's my clone. I want you to meet him. Come on. What? Your clone? Yep. Marvin, meet Mr. Goodman, too. Hi, I'm Mr. Goodman, too. Why'd you clone yourself? Because I make so much money that I thought if I cloned myself, I could make double the money. So I cloned myself and I doubled my net worth. But bad news for you, because you now owe two house payments. What, two house payments? Why? Well, one for me and one for Mr. Goodman, too. Yeah, where's your house payment? Well, I don't even have one house payment. How am I supposed to pay two? Well, Mr. Goodman, too. You want to come inside Marvin? house that we're about to repossess? Sure, okay. Well, uh, <sighs> who was at the door, Marvin? Someone who's gonna take our house. <gasps> a tornado? Wait, no, why would a tornado ring our doorbell? Because it's a very polite tornado. Oh my god, there's two of them now? Yes, two tornadoes right here. Goodman too, you like this house? Because we're gonna be repossessing it soon. Hmm, seems nice. What, they're gonna take the house? Well, uh, well yeah, because I haven't made my house payment. Look, you have to give me more time to make two house payments. You threw them on me today. Yeah, that's fair. Goodman, too. How much time do you think we should give Marvin here to make both of his house payments? Hmm. Two days? Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah! He can leave the country in two days! Well, if he can't afford a house payment, then he can't afford to leave the country. Well, he can swim to Switzerland. Well, that would take longer than two days. Shut up! You know what, Marvin? God, I hate that name. I'm gonna give you until tomorrow morning to make both of your house payments, or else. What, what, tomorrow morning? I can't make that payment. Or else what? Or else this. Oh, hello, it is me, Dr. Fingersheets. Did, did you forget I was in here? Cause, cause I, I helped you with your phone, so can I go home now? Shut up! Okay. So, Marvin, both of your house payments by tomorrow morning, or else I'm gonna get Dr. Finkel Sheets. Sheets, Dr. Finkel Sheets. Whatever. I'm gonna get Dr. Finkel Sheets to make a nipple enlarger ray to turn your nipples into big pepperonis. And then me and Mr. Goodman too are gonna eat them. One nipple each. Well, okay, I'll get them by tomorrow. All right. Can I go home now? Shut up! Tomorrow morning, or yummy your nipples. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Marvin, where are you going to get two house payments by tomorrow? I don't know. They're both $2,000 each. So where am I gonna get $4,000 in one night? Hey, day! You wanna play again? This time I made it easy on you and you only have to guess one letter. Jeffy, stop writing bad words! I didn't write bad words, daddy! Yeah, Jeffy, that's a bad word. I'm not gonna guess because it's bad. You give up? Yes, I give up. I'm not playing. Well, the word was... Duck. No, it wasn't, Jeffy. You're trying to make it seem like it's a bad word, then you make it not a bad word. It was duck, Daddy. Wah, wah. Oh, oh wait, look, look, look. I, got, I got my idea. All right, look, tomorrow when Goodman shows up for the house payments, I'm just not going to answer the door. Marvin, that's not going to work. Yeah, yes, it's going to work because what's he going to do? Break into my house? I'll call the cops. I'm not going to answer the door tomorrow when Goodman shows up. Hmm, <sighs> what a good day. Driving my Ferrari to go get Marvin's two house payments, or else I get to evict him. Huh? Ah. <sighs> Is that a penny? Ah! 
So, Marvin, do you think Goodman's gonna be coming by today to get the house payment? Look, I don't wanna think about it, because if I think about it, I'm gonna get stressed out, and I'm just not gonna think about it. I'm gonna, oh no, he's calling! Are you gonna answer it? No, I'm not gonna answer it, because if I answer it, then he'll know I'm home, and I'm just not gonna answer it. Hmm. Marvin, he's calling again! Oh, okay, okay, look, how about this, how about this? What if I answer it, and I tell him I'm swimming in Switzerland? Um, I don't think you would have signal out there. Look, I'm gonna answer it and tell him I'm not even home, so there's no point in coming by. Okay. Uh, hello, Goodman? I can't really hear you right now. I have a really bad signal. I'm swimming in the ocean. Marvin, open the door right now. I need help. Open the door. Uh, 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 Goodman, I'm not home. I'm, I'm swimming to Switzerland right now. Marvin, I see your car out front. Quit playing games. Open the door. Someone's trying to kill me. What? Uh, but but I'm not home right now. I, I don't have my house payment. Marvin, screw your house payment. I need you to open the door right now. Someone is trying to kill me. What, what, really, you're not lying just to get my- Open the door, Marvin! Uh, open the door! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, I have to uh, go open the door. What? Because he's saying he's saying some weird stuff. Look, look, look. If he tries to come in for the house payment, I'm just gonna run. Okay? Hello? Marvin! Where are you? Down here! What? <sighs> oh my God! What happened to you? Give me inside, quick! Oh, okay. <sighs> <sighs> well, so what happened to you? Goodman too. He's trying to kill me. Well, he is? Well, how? He threw a penny in the road, and he knows that I'll never hurt money. So I swerved to not hit the penny, and I crashed my Ferrari into a tree. What, you crashed your Ferrari? Yeah, but don't worry, because I had the Ferrari insured for twice for what it's worth. So I'm good there, because I'm about to get paid. But I hit my face on the steering wheel, because I had my airbags taken out to make the Ferrari lighter so it would go faster. Well, well then what, what happened after you crashed into the tree? <laughs> I was knocked unconscious for eight hours, and then I woke up to a pack of wolves eating my pants. And the only spare pair of pants I had in my car were my carrot pepper pants. Oh, well, why is Goodman 2 trying to kill you? I don't know, but I need you to figure it out, Marvin. But how, how am I going to figure that out? I don't know. Just figure it out. Oh, oh no. That might be him at the door. What? You have to figure this out, Marvin. And I'm going to go hide somewhere in the house. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to go answer the door and figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey. Uh, uh, Goodman 2, what are you doing here? I'm just here to see if Goodman 1 is hiding in your house. Oh, no, no, no. Goodman's not hiding in my house. You better not be lying to me. Goodman 2 doesn't like liars. Uh, no, no, no I'm, I'm not lying. You can, you can check if you want to. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, okay. See, look, there's no Goodman here. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure he's not hiding in your house somewhere? What, no, he's not hiding in here. Baby, have you seen Goodman in here? Um, no, not for the past couple minutes. What? Oh, really? No, 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 no. She doesn't know what she's talking about. No, no, no. She, uh, she sees you now. She thinks you're Goodman, so she thinks that's what she's talking about. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Well, well why are you looking for Goodman anyway? I'm gonna kill him. But why? Well, because if he's dead, then I can take over his company and I can get all his billions of dollars. Ha 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 ha. That that's how I laugh. Ha 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 ha. Oh, uh, well, 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 how about this? Well, since you're Goodman's clone, why don't you just go to the bank, they're gonna think you're Goodman, and you can just take out billions of dollars and leave. No, because I want all his money. Ha 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 ha. Uh, well, 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 um, how about, how about, how about no? Oh, wow, really, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, you're right. Well, how about this? How about if you help me find him, you never have to pay me another house payment ever again, and I'll give you a million dollars. Oh, a million dollars. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Marvin, no, you could go to jail. But, 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 but it's a million dollars, baby. No. Uh, my wife thinks we'll go to jail. We're not gonna go to jail. What, are they gonna arrest me for killing my clone? I'll just say he was the evil clone. He's evil, not me. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just don't laugh like that when, when you say that to them. Okay, let's go find him. Oh, yeah. Uh, baby, we're, we're not gonna go find him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him the door so he leaves. Marvin, yeah. I'm literally standing right here. I heard everything that you were saying. Uh, 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 actually, we're not gonna, what is that? This is my smashing hammer. Uh, oh! So if you're not gonna go kill him, then why do you need that? Uh, uh, because the front door's jammed, and he's gonna bust the front door down. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Right after I smash Goodman's head with my hand. No, 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 baby, come on, guys, look, it's a million dollars. Oh, no, 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 you hear that? We're not gonna do it. Uh -huh. We're not gonna. We're not. We're gonna. We're not gonna do it. Okay. Uh, baby, I'm gonna show him the front door. Okay. Come, okay. come on. Okay. Where is Goodman at? Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> He's in the pantry. There he is. I'll kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Marvin, you're helping him. Yes. Hit him with your mallet. <laughs> what? 
What, why are you smelling pepper? Because I just want to smell some pepper. You want some? Wait, no. The only reason we found you is because you sneezed. Oh, no. Please don't let him hurt me, Marvin. Oh, it's too late. He said he's going to give me a million dollars, and he says I'll never owe him a house payment ever again. I thought we were friends, Marvin. No, we were never friends. You can hit him now. I want that million dollars. Oh, please. Okay. No, 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 no. Wow, hit, Marvin. What? I'm disappointed in you. Hit, 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 hit him harder. I'm disappointed in you too, Marvin. Wait, 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 what? But no, no, no. You're supposed to kill him. Give me a million dollars. I can't believe that you would choose a million dollars, a measly million dollars over our friendship. What? We're not friends. Oh, yeah. Clearly. But this was all a setup, Marvin. What? A setup? Yep. This is just some guy in a suit. What? Some guy in a suit? Yeah, clearly it's a guy in a suit. It's your clone. No. Take your mask off. Oh, oh man, it is hot in there. It's still on your chin. Ah, yeah, got a hair in my mouth. Mm. So, hey. wait, so Brooklyn guy, was you in a suit? Yeah, he paid me ten grand to do this. What? what? Okay, you need to explain what's going on. Okay, so this is what happened. So I took out a two million dollar insurance policy. What in the hell are you doing? It was on, it was on his ear. I got hope. Oh. I got it. You good? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Can wait. I continue with my story? Yeah. Well, explain what was going on. Right. So I took out a $2 million policy, an insurance policy on my Ferrari. Then when I wrecked it, I got paid $2 million. So what I did was I hired Dr. Fingleshits to make a suit that looked just like me. And then I paid him 10 grand to get in it. Yeah. Uh, mm, mm. Some more? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, continue your story. <laughs> Continue your story. So you, so you put out, you, you wrecked your Ferrari for $2 million. Yep. And then, I, like I said, I had Dr. Finkelschitz make a suit that looked just like me. I paid him 10 grand to get in it. And then for fun, we decided to see if you would choose our friendship over a million dollars, which you didn't. Oh, come on. You'd kill me for a million dollars. I would. I wouldn't. I, 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 I would. I don't know why I lied. I just lied straight to your face like that. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so, so you did. Uh, so you just admitted that you did insurance fraud, and aren't you a cop? Arrest him. Well, I mean, he's gonna give me a cut, so I'll look the other way. Well, I want some money. Ah, oh, darn it! I guess you're right. I guess the best I can do is two months with no house payment. And you want some pepper? Wait, that's you. Yeah, get. Uh, all uh, right, all three together now. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Houston, we're ready for liftoff. Five, four. Jeffy, play with that somewhere else. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jeffy, you're being loud. We have successful liftoff. We are now en route to Uranus. <laughs> Jeffy, stop trying to shove that in my butt. We always going to Uranus. Well, Uranus is closed. Fly somewhere else. All right, Houston, change your plans. We're now going towards a black hole. <laughs> Jeffy, stop trying to shove that in my butt. We always going towards a black hole. Oh man, we lost another one, Daddy. <sighs> Hold on, there's someone at the door. Hello? Hey Marvin, I want you to meet my dog, Prince Charles. Lord. Guess how much I paid for? How much? Two million dollars. Two million dollars for a dog? Yeah, because he's a woolly Tuscan long-haired schnauzer. He's a cross between a woolly mammoth and a shih tzu. See, what they did was, they found a fossilized testicle of a woolly mammoth, and they stuck it in the vagine of a shih tzu, and out came him. He's a one of a kind. There's no other dog like him. Well, why'd you bring him here? Well, because I'm entering him into a dog contest tomorrow, Marvin. And tonight, I'm having a chocolate eating party at my mansion. And obviously, dogs can't have chocolate, so I don't want to run the risk. So I'm dropping him off here. Well, no, you're not dropping off here. I don't, I don't want the responsibility of your $2 million dog. Well, I have no other choice, Marvin. Listen, look, if you watch him for me tonight and he enters the dog show tomorrow and wins, I'll give you $50,000. Wait, wait, you'll give me $50,000 if I watch your dog for a night? Yes, but keep in mind, he's very high maintenance. He only eats Japanese A5 Wagyu beef flown in from Japan. If he eats anything else, I'll shit all over your house. Uh... I mean, uh... Is that a yes? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. All right, great. Here, go ahead, Prince Charles. But, oh, wait, he's so heavy. Yeah, he's part woolly mammoth, Marvin. Keep that in mind. Uh, come on, Prince Charles. <gasps> Marvin, you found a dog? No, it's Goodman's dog. He wants me to watch him. Aw, well, what's his name? My name is Prince Charles, but... You can talk? Of course I can talk. I'm rich, but... Hey, Marvin, I almost forgot to bring you his chew toys. There's one of them right there. Oh, is this like a squeaky toy? No, that's a real $10,000. You let your dog chew on money? Yeah, he's teething. I also have his gold bar right here that helps sharpen his teeth. But you let your dog chew on money and gold? Yeah, because that's what he wants to do. <laughs> Ew, it smells so poor in here. I agree, Prince Charles. You'll be home in the morning.
Marvin, you don't know anything about watching a dog. Who is this witch? Oh, this is my wife, Rose. Mm, you poor, poor thing and bun. Oh, look, look, baby, he's paying me a lot of money to watch his dog. Hand me my chew toy, peasant. Okay, look, we're gonna be respectful in this house. <laughs> Prince Charles! He spit in my face! Hand me my chew toy, peasant. Oh, here. <laughs> hey, Danny! Oh, no, goodbye! What do you want, Jeffy? I found this moldy chicken nugget behind your refrigerator. Can I eat it? No, Jeffy. Oh, no! Spit it out! Spit it! Spit it out! <laughs> Yummy. Oh, no! What's wrong, Marvin? It's just a chicken nugget. Goodman said he can only eat A5 Wagyu beef from Japan. That's ridiculous, Marvin. It's a dog. It can eat anything. Uh-oh. I have to take a dookie. Peasant, carry me outside. Come on, Jeffy. Let's lift him up. What? Why do you have to carry him. I'm too rich to walk. Oh, come on, Jeff. Okay, Prince Charles, hurry up and take a dump. I only poop on Bermuda grass. This is St. Augustine Bar. Well, this is the only grass we have. Just hurry up and take a dump. Well, it's hard to focus when I don't have my mountainside view. Wait, look, we don't have any mountains around us. All we have is this. Just hurry up. Well, I guess I'll try. Bark. Hey, Danny, look, he's pooping. I know, it's gross. I'm going to have to clean it up. P.U. Wait, is that money? It is. I only poop cold, hard cash. You poop money? Jeffy, I think I like this dog. I think it's like, I like this dog a lot. Uh, do you have to use the bathroom anymore? I'm done. Now carry me home, Bark. Okay. All right, Jeffy, get the dog. All right. Yeah. Baby, you won't believe it. What's wrong, Marvin? The dog poops cash. What? Yeah, literally, this cash came out of his butt. Marvin, there's no way that he poops cash. He does, so I made him this big plate of food so he can eat it up and we can print money. <laughs> do that. You can't use a dog for money. It's the circle of life, baby. He eats food. He poops money. It makes sense. I don't know about this, Marvin. Come on, Prince Charles. Bon appetit. Ew, no, thank you. What, what, what do you mean, no thank you? What do I look like to you, a French bulldog? <laughs> but, but you ate the other chicken nugget. That's because it was green, like the color of money. Well, I, I can I can paint this green. No. Well, 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 come on, just eat it. I'm full, no. Prince Charles, you're going to eat this food right now. Oh, my God, you bit me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus oh, I think he broke my hand. Oh, my God. We need to get you to a hospital. Let's take me to a hospital. Uh, Jeffy, uh, watch the dog. Shit's crazy out here. Who are you? supposed to be. My name's Jeffy. Here, play with your toys. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Scooter Claw is in the house. Hey, Scooter, what are you doing? Well, well, well. Someone got a puppy dog. Ruh, 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 ruh. That's what a puppy dog says. Oh, my God. What breed are you? Wowie, wowie. Look at all this money. You can buy a lot of yo-yos with that money. I want a yo-yo. What is this thing? Wait a minute. Does this dog talk? Yes, girl, that dog can talk. Someone better call the news. This poor thing needs a haircut. I do not need a haircut. Well, how many fingers am I holding up? Four. Poor thing can't even see. Time to give him a haircut. Oh, what are you doing? Are you crazy hair, girl? Go. You are not going to give me a haircut. Hmm. Oh, still, damn it. Hmm. And done. Uh, now you look all pretty pretty. Yeah, he does. What have you done to me? My beautiful hair. How am I going to win the dog show now, boy? Now you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Time to put a red nose on you. Don't you dare. I'll hold him down. Come here, little fella. <laughs> but would you look at that? He looks just like Rudolph. I'm living in hell. Come on, Rudolph. Let's go to the North Pole. You're so heavy. Get out, fat boy. See you guys later. Say hi to Santa Claus for me. Jeffy, we're home. Jeffy, why is there fur all over the couch? Scooter gave Prince Charles a haircut. A haircut? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's Prince Charles? Where is he? He and Scooter are on the way to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Jeffy, don't you screw with me. Where's Prince Charles? I just told you he and Scooter are on the way to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Oh, no. No way this is my life. No way this happened to me. I can't believe we lost that dog. Marvin, calm down. We have $20,000 and a gold bar on the sofa. We'll be fine. No, we will not be fine. Goodman needed that dog for a show tomorrow. For the International Exotic Dog Competition? You've heard of it? Yes, Marvin. The winner gets five million dollars. Five million dollars? He was only gonna give me fifty thousand dollars. Well, look, we lost Goodman's dog, and now he's gonna kill me. Marvin, I have a plan. What? We can take all the money and run away to Hawaii. He'll never find us there. He will find me there. He has a tracker in my ass until I pay off the house. Okay, look, we just gotta find a dog to put into the competition tomorrow. Marvin, you can't find a dog by tomorrow. Well, yeah, yes, we will. Um, uh, ooh, Jeffy, do you still have your dog? Yeah, booby butt. Yeah, go grab your dog. Uh. 
Okay, I got an idea. Here you go, Daddy. All booby butts. That dog right there, that dog's gonna win the competition. Marvin, there's no way that dog is gonna win the International Exotic Dog Competition. Sure he can. He's paralyzed from the neck down. Well, they don't need to know that. He can't even walk, Marvin. Well, Prince Charles couldn't walk. We had to carry him everywhere, so they won't know when we're carrying him around. Look, 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 look. All we have to do is just tape all this fur onto him. Tape? Or staple it. I mean, he's paralyzed. He won't be able to feel it. Look, look, look. I promise once we get all this fur onto him, you won't even know it's not the, the, the rare dog that Goodman had. Marvin, this isn't going to work. I need it to work. All right, so everyone grab some tape and some glue and some staples. Okay, let, let, let's get to work. And done. Doesn't he look just like Prince Charles? He looks terrible, Marvin. Well, no, he doesn't. He looks just like the other dog. He had all this fur. Maybe if the other dog went through a wood chipper. You're just being mean. He looks just like the other dog. I don't want to be a part of this. You're being a quitter. What do you think, Jeffy? Yep. What, what, what do you think about the dog? I think he looks like a cat's hairball. And he sounds like one, too. No, Jeffy. He looks just like Prince Charles. <laughs> Someone's at the door. You have fun with that, Daddy. Well, okay, stay right here, uh, Prince Charles. Uh, hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Bad news, Marvin. The chocolate party got canceled. It got canceled? Why? Turns out I don't like chocolate, so I came here to pick up my dog. Well, b -b 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 pick up your dog? You're not supposed to pick him up till tomorrow. You should come back tomorrow because me and the dog were having so much fun. I know he's great, isn't he? He shits cash. I noticed, so you should just come back tomorrow. What happened to your arm? Uh, Did you get carpal tunnel from beating your wiener too much? I I've no, been there. No, I, I fell down the stairs. Mm. But, but anyway, uh, yeah, just come back tomorrow and you can get your dog. No, it's okay. I understand that your arm hurts. I'll go upstairs and get him. Well, no, 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 no. All right, here's your dog. You think I'm stupid, don't you? What? No, this is Prince Charles. Look, 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 say your name. Say I'm Prince Charles. <laughs> Did he have a stroke? Uh, 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 no, he's just sleeping. He's having a bad dream. Where's Prince Charles at? He's right here. That is not Prince Charles. Where's my Prince Charles? Uh, okay, look, he's on his way to the North Pole to see Santa. Well, tell Santa Claus he owes me $2 million. Well, look, 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 uh, listen, look, uh, your dog bit me in the hand, and then I left him alone with Jeffy, and then Jeffy shaved him, and they thought he was a reindeer. I don't know why I keep trusting you with things. I don't know why either. I told you I did not want this responsibility, so it's kind of your fault for trusting me. I can't show up to the International Exotic Dog Competition with this, this thing. Well, you're just going to have to find another dog. Hmm, I got an idea. Why are you looking at me like that? Welcome to the International Exotic Dog Competition. Our first contestant is Toodles, the Black Bear Poodle. He's a mix between a black bear and an actual poodle. <laughs> Yeah, and our next contestant is... Say it. A uh, bark, bark, bark. Oh my god, what kind of animal is this, sir? It's a shithead who likes to lose people's dogs. 